you're probably thinking, what is she doing right now? Yes, I'm sitting in my car getting ready to go up and make the bowl for today. Um, today's bowl is on color washing. So I have my white slabs already rolled out down here, ready to go. And my tripod and my camcorder. And the only thing I'm missing is a coffee. Although it is kind of warm already, so I really don't need a coffee. Maybe an iced coffee. That would be good. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Well, here it is, the oldest tree in Modesto. And I need to find my perfect spot with the perfect texture. And I think it needs to be somewhat flat and not rounded, but there we go. I think that's it right there. Okay, I'm doing I'm doing a one take Tammy. And I usually don't do full body shots, okay? Um, trying to find the best place for a texture. At first I thought it would be here, but they're kind of big. Let me see if my camera's in view of the one I want then. I need to move it over just a little bit. Oh, you're, you're, the full tree's in view, so I can pick anything. Texture number one. I even got a little bit of the tree with it. Okay, I need something with more texture, and it can't be that. Ah, oh, I think I found it. I have two slabs, so there's not much texture. A lot of moss, though. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can see it. That one turned out great. Ooh, that one turned out great. Okay, back to the workshop. We started making this one outside the camera, but I thought, oh, I'll put it in there because I was really going to focus on the other bowl, but this one had broke. A piece just fell right off. So now I'm just adjusting it, altering it somewhat. And I have it draped over my little Play-Doh extruder. So we'll see how this one turns out. No smooth edge, right? Right. I want it to look torn. marking where I want to put the feet. Okay, this is the sample foot I'm trying to create. It's very plain. I wanted it real plain because there's texture on the outside. And that, maybe I'll change the height on it just a little bit, but that's kind of what it'll look like. I'm going to take a perfect edge to try and all I did was take my finger and just roll it back and forth and roll my finger off the edge like that I'll compare them all at the end and I'll, I'll rematch them up because they're not going to be perfect but I'm making eight for both bowls. I didn't show you the entire process of this one, but... Drum roll, please. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Oh, and it sits on its feet. Oh, I'm breaking that off. Break anything else off? 
the super sharp edges I'm breaking off. The non-textury edges, like I'm going to break that off too. Now there's one thing about this piece I didn't share before. I didn't stamp it and I didn't put the date on, but this is the color wash one. I think that looks like a tree. Okay, I have to tell you, I absolutely adore this. This to me is a nostalgic bowl. I love it. Um, I, I like the pro. Oh, iron oxide's coming off. You that have done this before are going to know whether or not that's an okay thing. This is not going to be a food safe bowl. I'm going to leave it just like this. I'm hoping the red iron oxide turns brown. I hope. I hope that's what happens with it. Oh, they said I need to add a flux. Maybe I should color. But maybe I should clear coat this. I'm going to decide. I might put a clear glaze over the top of this just to make sure that it's not something that's hazardous. But anyway, um. Love it, love it, love it. Super, super happy. And hope you guys enjoyed today and hope you enjoyed the trek. I will see you tomorrow with a very simple technique. It's, uh, you'll just have to see. So thanks for joining me and we will see you tomorrow.